right, guess what? We're going to take a look at the garden. Because you know I could be growing my stuff too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, y'all. So Beautiful. The watermelon growing along. Yep. Oh, that's I guess I should Awesome. Look at that. Yep, that's the watermelon patch. That's how I had it before. Oh, man. You know, I lost my watermelon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, but like, yeah, you shouldn't move. <laughs> you want some rosemary? You have rosemary? Oh my gosh. You know what? If for some odd reason, I just got a rosemary um, plant uh -huh. and it, it just, it just doesn't, no, nah, it just will not grow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so great. Yeah, look at that. Hang on. And we got pumpkins here. Beautiful. Wow, look at that. When they're ready, I'll have to call you to come get some. Wow, look at that. Now, this is a garden. This is what I'm talking about. See, that's all you need to do to get your own thing popping, you know. You keep it organic. You keep it right there. You just come out here and just get your salad, get your stuff, get some great fruits, you know. So, what's the hardest thing about growing the, the garden? What's been the most difficult? Um, the heat. The heat has killed off some things they have to start yeah. over so we just got to keep all the veggies well hydrated and make sure the sun doesn't dry them out and kill them yeah that's that sun has been hardcore on us oh my god it's like a magnifying glass or something like that yeah, you know sure. big time so what have you really learned what's your what, have you like connected with your your plants do you talk to them yes so I talk to them whenever they're I see they're struggling you know you tell them hang in there you rub the leaves make sure the leaves you know aren't completely covered with you know the dust from the pollution in the air you what know what about what about bugs what about bugs have you oh, seen what are bugs are awesome <laughs> i love do I, they eat your plants um i just make sure to to put ladybugs in there to eat off the bad Beautiful. ones and we Natural have predators yes and we have also um praying mantises so those are all nature's helpers and they crawl all the ladybugs crawl around everywhere and help me to keep all the bad bugs away so yeah the praying mantises are awesome i love those yes. yeah man well awesome we got the garden going on you know what take some time y'all get to know your soil get to know the environment put some plants out there put some vegetables out there and you'll see some wondrous things happen you know you really get connected to the earth and really know what's really going on out here by far uh, so what are you making with all these things are you doing any particular uh, dishes or medicinals or tinctures um no medicinal um the aloe vera for you know your skin um or for your belly there's our bees yeah coming Look in at that to they say are, hello they are here doing it up mm -hmm. really nepali <laughs> i've been thinking about maybe putting a little bee box over here maybe yeah to huh? help attract some more true that you have that connection so yes. that'd be so great i'm sure they'll appreciate it and it'll be easy pollination for your fruiting plants definitely i have uh, some nopales over there if you'd like to have some. What's that cactus? Yeah. Yeah, that's the ones you eat. You just take off the spines off of them and you mm -hmm. eat them. You can make like a taco or put them. You know, I've fry them up. I've seen that. I've it's seen. It's really I've healthy. Never had it. It's really healthy. Yeah. You know, that's my whole premise. I believe that human beings are actually sort of immortal, and because we just don't eat correctly, you know, we just destroy ourselves. It's like we gotta take it back to the earth. You know, by far. That, that's just my belief. You know, hey, you won't read that anywhere, so. You can't, and you can't just spread that around, all right? Yeah, you know, by far. So that's so cool. So the family's loving it. You're getting your family involved with this, too? Yes. And, you know, when we harvest all the veggies, get the kids out here, give them the scissors to harvest everything, and they're getting to learn, you know, where their food comes from. Yeah. That's one of those hard lessons, everyone. We really have to take it back a thousand and really find out where the origins of our, like, our sustenance are coming from and, mm -hmm. and really just take that power back. Definitely. You know? Basically, and, that, and that's love right there, y'all. That's love right there. You gotta love your family, gotta love your household, gotta love the environment, you know what I mean? Yeah, by, <laughs> by far. Well, we're gonna take it out of here. You know, I got some products to make, some things to do. So, heck yeah. I wanna thank everybody for coming out to Cimbria's little garden she got rocking right here. The little big garden, you know? Big time. I mean, you know, I gotta take a lesson on how you grow that, uh, the rosemary. Oh my god, look at that. Everybody got big rosemary yeah, bushes. It, I tried to put mine out there, it just dried up. Oh, they need a lot of water. And yeah, a lot of love. A lot of love. <laughs> yeah, man, the, the, the sun out here, we got hit hard this summer yes. with some heat. Yes. Man, I couldn't even step outside. A lot of those times stepping outside, you couldn't even walk on the ground. No. 
no. Man, it was like the Mayan movie or something like that. Give me some sandals <laughs> or something. Good Lord, that, the, the feet. Oh, I felt burning on my feet. Oh, yes. The bottom of my feet burning. You can cook an egg. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I thought about doing it. All right, y'all. Peace out. This is Biddy World. You know how we rock, y'all. Let's keep it popping. Booyah!